Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generate Press and Generate Blocks. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a custom post navigation like this using a block element with Generate Blocks plus the dynamic content from GP Premium 2.0. So here we have the previous and next tags, post title that links to the post, comment count that links to the comment area of that post, and the feature image as the background image. Let's get started. First, we will go to Dashboard, Plugins, and make sure we have GP Premium version 2.0 or above installed, along with Generate Blocks. Now let's create a new block element. Give it a name, then select post navigation under the element type. As usual, there are templates for you to import, but we will build one from scratch today. Let's go ahead and add our first container. Set the inner and outer container width both to full. and remove the default 40 pixels padding. Inside the container, we will add a grid wrapper. Choose the full grid. We will remove the horizontal gap. Then let's select the container inside the grid and set it to 50%. I will quickly style the container here. We will also need to upload a background image in order to access the dynamic background image options. This can be any images. Now let's set the dynamic option of this container. For background image, we want to choose featured image. Source will be the previous post. Next, let's add a headline block inside the container. We will go with paragraph here, add in our text, and quickly style it. Let's go to spacing next. Lastly, give it a background color. Let's add another headline block. This time we will go with heading three Open up the dynamic options. Text type, we will use a title. Link type, we will choose single post. Source will be the previous post. Here you can toggle on in the same term so that it will link to the previous post under the same category. And I'll style it again. Let's add another headline block. Choose paragraph. Open up the dynamic options. For this one, we will choose comments number. Leave all the default placeholder here. For link type, we will link it to the comment area. Source will be the previous post, same as the title. Let's style it 
and give it an icon. Now that we're finished with this half, let's select the container and duplicate it. Open up the dynamic option again. For this one, we'll again use the feature image, but it's going to the next post as a source. All the same styles should apply, except for this one, we will use text align right. Let's change the previous tag to next, and then remove the negative left margin, add negative right margin, Select the post title, open up the dynamic option, change the source to next post. Select the common number, open up dynamic option, again source next post. Alignment right. Let's scroll down to display rules. Search for post, all post, and publish. Let's go take a look. You can see that when there's no previous post, nothing will be showing here, and that looks weird. So let's see how we can fix this. We will select the container, and under the option here, you can see remove container condition. For this one, we will remove the container when there's no previous post. Select the other container, remove container when there's no next post. Let's take another look. You can see that the default post navigation is still here. We can go back to element, toggle on disable default post navigation. We can also move the post navigation to after content. So it will be in here. The last option is to add default archive navigation container in, so the content padding would apply. Now I want to take another couple of minutes to show you what style you can add if you have Generates Blocks Pro. Let's go ahead and activate Generates Blocks Pro first. Refresh the page so we can use the Pro options. Let's select the first container open up dynamic options. Now we have the dynamic link option. Select post. So now that this entire container is clickable, as opposed to only the title itself is clickable. Select another container, dynamic link, post. And while we're here, Let's also add in some hover effects. Add in the transition as well. 
and some box shadow. Same thing for the first container. Add in transition and box shadow. Update and take one last look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.